in this video, I'm going to cook a day's worth of meals using only the dash griddle. I've got eggs, cheese, and some dried beef to try that out for an egg sandwich. And here's the bread. I've also got pancake mix with a little maple syrup, not my favorite, but it is a cute container and I'm gonna reuse it with regular syrup after I finish the maple. I've got for lunch over here, a tortilla I'm gonna make with some shredded cheese and chicken. I've also got a snack, cookies. I'm gonna cook on the griddle as well. And I decided to throw in these sausages my mom picked up at the dollar store. We're just gonna grill them up, see how they work. And for dinner, I've got some grass-fed beef. Yes, it does look scary. It's a little brown. It was beautifully pink when I bought it. But if you are familiar with car fridges, the cords don't stay plugged in. So this is probably this way because it got a little bit warm. With that, we are going to get started with breakfast. I'm going to make the egg sandwich first and then some pancakes. I have cooked many egg sandwiches on this before and eggs over easy eggs, sunny side up eggs work beautifully on this griddle. I've also toasted some bread on the griddle and you do get some pieces on the corners that don't really get grilled. So I have one of these Sea to Summit measuring cups that also collapses and so it fits perfectly in the griddle and so I'm just going to cut the bread maybe this is actually pretty small this bread is pretty small so I'm gonna grill the toast first there's no on off button to this griddle and when you plug it in it is on so i'm going to go ahead and turn on my battery now and grill the toast this toast is just about done it's browned it nicely not consistently but it is browned so i'm just gonna butter this and then i already buttered this piece first to try that out can hear the sizzle. Let me butter this side. Let's see how that cooks. We have an up close shot of what is going on on the griddle. Let me turn this around. Oh, that's beautifully browned. It's a pretty deep griddle, so it doesn't always brown things from the top. So that's why I'm turning it over. Now I'm going to warm up one of these dried beef things. Hopefully it's not disgusting. That's weird. Holy crap, that's really salty. I did try one of these plain. It tastes like beef, but it is really salty. You could instead do some sausage or I should have just got some pepperoni. I wanted something kind of easy and round as a meat for an egg sandwich. But you could cook bacon in here and because of all the food I'm cooking, I just wanted to keep it simple. So we'll call that good. Put it under the bowl. And now is time for the egg. I have found that it is best to cook eggs with some spray. Even though this is non-stick, I still use spray because it just comes off so much more cleanly. Let's do a big egg here. Oh goodness, and I always tend to break the yolk. And I did not break the yolk. Good. Where's my salt? So 
So let's just make this a little bit more round. That is a huge yolk. Salt this up. Pepper. Pepper. Whoa. Okay, that came out a little fast there. It's hard to find a good camping salt and pepper shaker. So let's close the lid. It only takes about one to two minutes depending on how cooked you want it. We're gonna check this egg now and see how well it's cooking. Yeah, that is done. So I'll take that off, put it on my bread with the cheese. That is so perfectly cooked. I mean, you can't even get better or faster than that in a pan because it has the top and the bottom. It cooks beautifully. So I put my cheese on it just so the hot egg can melt it. There's the meat. So set that on there and let's break this yolk and see how much we've got. Oh yeah, delicious. We'll give it a try and then move on to the next dish. Let's give this a try. Have with our beloved Cholula. It's got plenty of pepper on it already, but we love some Cholula. Try it first without. Mm. So good. Mm. And if you have your own toaster, then you can cook the bread a lot faster. I do have a camping toaster, but I wanted everything done on the griddle. But this is perfect. You could switch the bread out for English muffin. Just so I didn't have a lot of stuff in my car, I used bread. Mm. I can't really taste that meat, which might be a good thing, but egg and cheese and the bread, good enough, or just egg and cheese. I'm gonna mix up some pancakes now and we will give that a go on the griddle. I've not cooked pancakes before, only hamburger and eggs and bread. Cleanup is very easy. You really just need to wipe it down with the paper towel. I do give it a deep clean once in a while. So I have my pancake already mixed and we will pour this on the griddle without using any spray just to see how well the nonstick works. a little unlevel so let me try to level this out here it's been about a minute or two let's take a look at this Woo! it's beautiful it's so beautiful could use a little bit longer it almost looks like those pancake souffles I'm gonna turn this around See what it looks like on the other side. That's nicely cooked. I'm gonna cook it a little longer and then see how it looks. All right, that's probably enough time. Smoking, take this off. Oh, that looks delicious and give this a try. Okay, I have properly buttered this. Let's pour on a little maple syrup. That's good for now. Cut into this, see what it looks like and give it a try. Looks beautifully cooked. It's 
dig into this. Delicious. Mm. Maple syrup is not too bad. I apologize to my Canadian friends and viewers who love maple syrup. Maybe I've turned a corner, but this is delicious. Okay, now we're gonna cook some cookies. See how well it does on that. I took three and rolled them into a ball and now I'm gonna flatten them out since this griddle is a little bit large and see how this cooks. That looks good, I might have to flip it over it's not very thick unless I, yeah, I want it to cook through. So we'll see how that does. Let's take a look at this cookie, see how we're doing. Woo! That really expanded. I was uh, wondering if I needed to do four, but it doesn't look like it. I should have left my spatula out. I'm gonna let that cook a little longer and come back in about a minute. Been about a minute. Let's look, take a look and see if we need to flip this over. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna let that keep cooking. Let's take another look. Okay, see if it's sturdy enough to flip. Wow, I am really doing a good job. Woo! Okay, yeah, that's about m my regularly baked cookies so we'll just put that right back in there yeah pat it down let's check if we're done if we're not we're just gonna have it oh, very uh let's call it medium you know yeah it could probably use another couple minutes and i obviously need to perfect this but We'll give this a try and then we will move on to our chicken and cheese quesadilla. Cookie? Anyone? You probably need about seven minutes on one of these. Next time, if there is a next time, I'd probably just do two. Make it slightly flat and then just flip it but hey you have a warm chocolate chip cookie while you're camping that's amazing next up our quesadilla these are just the tiny little street taco ones they're a little bigger than the griddle but that's fine we don't need it to be perfect. It's pretty well though. Put some cheese on here. Woo. And shall we do some chicken? Yes. We shall. Oh, this doesn't resell. Oh. Okay. It should resell. Let's just put a couple on here. Oh no. Hopefully this, ooh, some chicken juice coming out. Hopefully the chicken's not too bad. Should I smash it up? Yes, I shall. All right. And we will put our topper on it, turn on our battery, because there is no on off button. And let that cook. Let's take a look. Feels crispy. That was probably the juice from the chicken. It's a little golden brown here, so that's nice. Push that down. That cooked very quickly. That's only been on there about two to three minutes so far. Let's check on our tortilla. 
Ooh, it's even more nicely browned. It's actually a really good size for this griddle. So we're gonna give it a try. And while it's cooling off a bit, let's throw on some of these little Vienna bites. I like Vienna sausages. Uh, I was gonna do spam on this. I'm sure you could easily do spam, but I cannot find the packs and that would make for a good part of the breakfast sandwich. So we're just gonna work with this for now. Ooh, these are nice and thick. Okay, let's just get the spoon here. There's a lot of liquid in here. Okay. I'll just cook four for now. It's a nice sizzle. Let's give one of these a try. See how they taste. This is just in some water. It looks like, I don't know. Yeah, it tastes like a Vienna sausage. Not as flavorful though, actually. For snacks and recipes, that's what it says. So that's what we're doing, a little snacky poo. All right, let's cut into this. I think this is gonna be really good, even with that weird chicken in there. The cheese is nicely melted. Oh, it looks tasty. Try it without, and then our trusty Cholula. Mm-hmm. It's good regular chicken, like real chicken. I'm sure that's real, would probably taste better, but it'll taste great with some Cholula. Mmm, perfect. Mmm. This is such a great cooking device for a quick meal simple meal. It's very small. My Both of my nephews and my niece, Lexi, have actually cooked eggs on this and they love it. They're going to get one for Christmas. They probably won't see this, but they already know they are. Dash also has an eight inch griddle, which would be perfect for multiple eggs, some little sausage on the side or bacon. And because my nephews cook usually about two. So that eight inch griddle would be perfect. But it's easy to use. My niece, with my supervision, who's eight years old, has used this to cook eggs. My nephew, 10 years old, also with supervision, has cooked. I thought I heard something. Um, has also cooked eggs in this. It's wonderful. Okay. Yeah, there we have some browned up Vienna sausage. So we will let that cool off. And next up, we have the steak, the final dish. Hopefully it looks beautiful and pink on the inside, but I imagine that it will cook quickly. You just sear the each side, right? Those of you who like rare steak, I personally don't really care for pink, but we're gonna try to do some pink on it. All right, I was looking for small items that would fit in this griddle that was a little bit different from your eggs and tortilla and sausage. And here we have steak. I do not like to cook. I really don't cook, but hopefully this turns out and it's good. And I think it is a good size for the griddle. So let's just try it out here. I should probably put some salt on it, right? That's a nice sizzle. I don't know. I should probably have put salt on the other side too. Let me do that, okay? 
Whoa. Oh, that's already... I don't know. Should we give this like four minutes? Five minutes? Okay, we'll, we'll come back, give it a few minutes, and, and see how it looks. Hopefully good. Oh, let me try one of these cold down Vienna sausages quick. I don't know. These ones taste different from the regular ones, the Lynx and the single can. I'm not digging those. Don't buy those. I've cleaned up and the battery is beeping because it's about 20%. It was at 100 when we started. So let's take a look at this thing. Ooh, it's nicely browned right there on the edge. I'm gonna flip this over. Woo oh, it's browned better on the top. Huh, I don't know if I really wanna eat this. So I didn't like the color going in, but we will see. But we'll give that a little longer and see how it looks. Okay, let's check this side, see what we're working with. It grills beautifully on the top. I'm gonna turn this around, see what I can get on the other side. I should cut into it and see. I will in a bit. Let's give this a look. It's been in here for under 10 minutes. That was very brown. That side looks really good. Let me turn off my beeping battery. And we will cut into this. You're supposed to let it rest and all that stuff, but I am not a cook. And we're just going to see what this looks like. Ooh. It's all brown, a little pink on the inside. I, do I dare try it? I don't know. Let me just give it a very small bite. It's very, very tender. I don't know about this. I'm not gonna eat this steak, I am not. But I will try this again shortly after I pick it up from the grocery store. I won't let it stay in my cooler. I don't know, it smells kind of fishy. Um, so it just tastes a little fishy and I'm a little paranoid. I have a four and a half hour drive and I'd rather not spend it constantly pulling over, if you know what I mean. If you have ideas for food to cook in the dash griddle, please comment below. I'm looking for ideas because I will be bringing it with me on all of my camping trips. And if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I do camping trips, gear reviews, scenic drives, as well as videos like this. And I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.